Hey YouTube, hey, hey, hey everyone, this is Lily, the storyteller with a twist, and look what we have, got a brand new candle, honeysuckle, from Mainstays, oh, smells delicious, and our wine for, <gasps> wine Wednesday, on Wednesday we drink red, so this is a new one, I've never had this flavor before. But if you can see that, Arbor Mist, Exotic Fruits. That's what we're drinking on today. And of course, I'm still rocking this lotion here. Uh, the lotion, you remember on the previous video, I got that from Target in their dollar section for $3. I love it. It makes my hands so, so soft. And then don't mind my hair. I'm getting my nails done. I'm getting my hair done too. I know. It's, I've been a hot mess. I'm, I'm going to catch up with myself shortly, okay? But while we're sitting here talking, I did a kind of, sort of, maybe could be considered a mini slash almost big haul for Dollar Tree. Now, I've been watching Jennifer Moen 5 and she's really been getting me on this fix of... Um, reorganizing and everything so I went ahead and I grabbed a bunch of stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys all the stuff that uh, I have um starting out I got one of these Dollar Tree of course uh, to go back in the bathroom I actually took the one out that we already have I took it out and I hung it in my kids room on the back of their door so I just went ahead and grabbed another one so we can just keep our towels on it I couldn't wait to find one of these and it says made with love so in another future video I'm probably going to end up painting this and then you know doing the little wipe down method so you can get the accent of the of the uh you know the the risen part on the glass DIY project you guys stay tuned for that um I've been looking and looking and looking for the longest to try and find these and I finally found some this was the only pack there um, shoot, I'm glad I got that, but I'm going to actually use this for a mirror project that I'm going to be doing. DIY. Um, got more of these. Blue sticks. I got some labels because, of course, we're reorganizing. We got to make sure we label everything. Got the markers to write on them. Stickers. Springtime is coming. These are going to be so pretty in my book, in my planner. And then I really like these too. So you have the I love you, the ugh, <laughs> I'm cool, YOLO, for you only live once, young, the anchor, rebel, hope, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the skateboard and then these two little silly ones. I like this. This is cool. Oh, I didn't even realize this is a sticker. It says be unique. That, that is that is cool. I've been looking for these for the longest and have not seen them in any Dollar Tree around here. And I've gone to probably like eight. And they only had two. So I got both of those. I can't wait to do something with these for a DIY as well. Now, as far as the storage containers, this will be the first one. I really like this one. It's just the rectangle one. You can see it on the bottom, the rectangle one. This would be awesome in my closet for a couple of things that I that I know I can store in. I was able to get these. Now it's so crazy because I went to like four Dollar Trees and none had the white baskets except this one. So I got two of these. So I got three of the first ones, two of this one, and I got these. These are really flexible and bendable. I actually got one, two, three, four, five of these. So this is just the round bucket, the basket, you want to call it. We got the handles. I think those are awesome as well. And I'll put that right there. I get a hamper basket, or basket, hamper laundry basket thing. Now, with this, though, I don't think I'm going to keep this white. I'm going to do a wicker basket with this. So, that's going to be another DIY that we um, review together. Now, let's see. I found some new finds, which I was 
pretty amazed at. These I thought were really nice. And then I have the, you know, gold charger place, but I don't think I will put this and the gold charger place. But I like this to go in the center of my table. And then they had it in this, um, like, charcoal kind of silverish color. I got those two. Oh, <laughs> so I was so surprised that we actually had these. So these are like little holders and you can stick them on your refrigerator. They're magnets. So I figured one for each, you know, kid that I have in the house or whatever that actually leave out. I can leave like little money in there for them or you know, whatever, and just stick it on the refrigerator as they're heading out to school. They just grab one. I think that was pretty cool. And then I have um, a couple of DIYs where I'm going to need these little clips uh, to make sure that they stay closed tight. So when they uh, the glue dries, it dry and it, it stays stuck together good. Got another one. And then I thought this was awesome. These little squeezers, especially these, will be really, really good when I'm trying to... Um, pick up my rhinestones when we're doing a rhinestone or, or DIY that require rhinestones like the individual ones and then of course either give me more wine or leave me alone so mama Roxy says you got another one coming with this one too <laughs> so we got those two glasses and I don't even remember some of the stuff that I don't know Let's see. <gasps> stickers! More stickers! I think these are the cutest. The little smiley face ones. You guys see that? And then I got these. Make believe. Memory collector. Dream on. Be good. Life is sweet. And then the little flowers. And a little heart flower. I think these are really nice. And then I got these. Be brave, be happy, smile, love, thanks, laugh. And then these have the butterflies and some flowers. I thought those were really nice as well. I have a square picture that my daughter took um, at JCPenney. And I finally found, after I don't know how long, another square picture frame. So I'm going to take this stuff out and throw her picture on in there. Um... Now, I thought these were the cutest little things in the world. And then once I realized what they were, I was like, oh my lord. This is a little apple. And inside this little apple is some hand cream, some lotion. Cutest little thing. And it smells amazing at Dollar Tree. So you open it has a little top on it. Can you guys see that? There's a little thing. You just pull that right on out. There's the hand cream. I done dropped it a couple of times. Sorry. And my daughter dug in it. See that? It smells so good. Let's see how it feels. Oh, it's soft. Oh my God. It's so, it smells good. I like this. Oh yeah. I like that. So I got the apple. And just twist it on. I think this is like a really nifty thing to just drop in the bottom of your purse. And then, or the kids can take this to school. Nobody's going to get this mixed up with anybody else's stuff. And this is the, is this the pear? Mm, mm, mm. This is the pear. And now my hands are slippery. I can't open it. I can't open it. I'm sliding. There we go. Look at that. It smells so good. And it's it's a nice texture. It's not thin and watery like some cheap lotions are. It's actually thick and it feels good. What else do we have? Oh, you guys know the new glasses that I got, you know, from previous videos. I got more rhinestones to match so now I have the yellow the pink the green and the red so we can get started on those two or those 
many DIYs. I had to pick up my baby some more juice. I like those because they're easy when uh, we get ready to run out of something. I just grab one and her, her snack and just throw it in her bag and she can carry it wherever we go. Awesome. And I finally found it. What? The juke twine. So now I can actually make the um the, the, the wicker look. You know, I can start that stuff out. Make some smaller ones. I haven't seen these in any Dollar Tree until I just went to ours, which was a shocker because they didn't really have anything. So it's the, the basket. This is a pink one. I'm going to use this for my, my younger daughter. It has a top. I like that. It's not bad. I can put some stuff in there for her. Throw it on the shelf. I got two. And I'm going to take this down. Take a sip of that wine because I'm just sitting here talking, ain't paying attention. Mm, mm, mm. I got some more awesome. I like this. This works wonders. If you have kids or if you guys do whatever, it doesn't even matter. This gets stains out really, really well. And it doesn't like bleach your item or anything like that. I definitely recommend you guys get this. This is some good stuff. And it's only a dollar. That's that's some good stuff. Now, I got one, two, three, four, five of these. And that's because we're going to use these for a DIY project. So you see it. It's bendable. It's just a little fence gate. A garden fence from Dollar Tree. So I got five of these. I'm not sure if I'm going to need more. But for now, this is what I have. That's what the end looks like. So we're definitely going to be using this. I can't wait to see how that project turns out. But if you guys already know, I'm I'm falling in love with white. I'm falling in love with yellow. And I'm falling in love with the wicker look. So with that being said, yeah, hey, stay, <laughs> stay tuned to be continued with that. But that's what I'm looking for. Um, especially to bring in the springtime. I think those will be some nice vibrant colors that will work well together. And then I see that a lot of people are going with the blue. I don't want to do what everyone else is doing. So I'm going to go with the, the red. And I don't want like the big bright red. I want like the, the pale pastel red because it feels more calming. So that's what I'm going with. And Saturday, um, Saturday is when I'm going to actually read off the email and have her call in she wasn't able to call in uh on tuesday so we ended up and we just set it up for for saturday so look for that video probably i'll probably download or upload it um saturday evening so i will definitely stay tuned and and be prepared for that it's going to be really really good um i'm definitely by then we'll have my hair my nails done <laughs> oh uh, and then, like I said, if you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to shoot me over an email. That is the storyteller with a twist at gmail.com. Uh, until the next time, see you guys later.